going on people, it is Irish Gunner HD here, you can call me Irish, and today I'm going to be showing you the latest mod for GTA 5 that I've come across. And it is another car mod of course, as you could probably see from the title and thumbnail. It is a Lexus, I can't remember the exact name, IS200 or IS300? IS300, yeah. And um, aside from the really funky interior, I don't know what the hell, I'm assuming that's some kind of glitch in the mod. Um, where like the textures didn't load or they just use random textures for like beer cases it, it, it looks like but uh yeah so basically this is the first fully tunable mod uh well car, like car mod this is the first fully tunable or customizable car mod so as i said in the video um that i did on the mad bikes rx7 you could go in and take the wing off and change the wheels and stuff like that this car like is officially fully moddable it has spoilers with uh, body kits wheels and all that kind of stuff so what i thought i'd do is just kind of go in and show you so Again, I don't know if I mentioned it in the last video, but I did remove the no traffic mod because that was cause that that's what was causing all the glitches and stuff like that. And speaking of which, this kind of this mod itself is also very glitchy. And um, when you're t so here's a look, I I'll explain it here in a sec. Um, so here are the front bumper bumper options. Um, and then I'm not going to go down any further. So stock rear bumper, custom rear bumper, and sports rear bumper. Don't touch them. Or I'll cut in a clip now of what happens when you do. Basically, the game completely glitches out for some reason. Trevor falls out of the car and eventually dies. Um, yeah, so it's just kind of completely broken a little bit. But again, it's version 0 point something of the, of the mod like so. Completely early days. So I'm just going to stick on this one. Um, then the engine upgrades if you need them. I don't think you do because, again, I've, got a, a, I've applied the same handling mod from Mad Mike's RX-7 to this one. So... I don't think it needs any more power. So the exhaust is where you get the bumpers. So as you can see, you change the exhaust, the bumpers change with it. So don't touch the bumpers or the exhausts inside bumpers there. Don't do that because <laughs> the game just breaks out or it just completely mashes up and eventually the game will crash. So do it here. Um, I personally like the big board to dual exhaust with the kind of smooth BN Sports style kind of rear bumper. Um, so that's just my, my preference. Again, I've seen in a video that these are apparently supposed to do something, these other options, but I can't seem to get any of them to work other than just these two, which are just slightly different. Um, so I'm just going to go with black grill because it's the cheapest <laughs> and it removes the, uh, the Lexus logo. Then your hoods, you've invented hood and then you've got a Ram Air hood, which I believe is carbon, is it? Yeah. Then another kind of carbon hood with what looks like a glitch in the texture again in the model. And then carbon vented hood, which is just a plain carbon hood by the looks of it. Um, I prefer just the plain with a plain um, non-carbon with a with a with a vent in it that's kind of my preference horn lights again you can do neons so front back and sides all around if you want but again with be, being a lexus and having neons it kind of <laughs> you can very easily get into uh rice rice territory so i won't bother with that and um, i won't bother with re with the license plates since it's it's not really any need for it chrome again you can chrome the paint job um all the all the classic colors and then whatever you want basically as i always say i prefer matte olive drab the army color just so badass like it just it doesn't get more badass than, the, than an army army color car um then you've got the roll cage and chassis upgrade of course which doesn't actually seem to affect the handling but again i've got the drift mod installed so it doesn't really do anything for me um then you have this so the names in the so the names of the game in game options aren't actually what they are so so it's not actually adding a sun strip it's adding a roof spoiler as you can see on the back there so i love the roof spoilers they're always really nice so um that's that's good enough for me and then you've got this which again is just kind of a little bit too ricey for my liking so we'll stick with the normal ho with the normal uh, roof and the and the ah crap and <laughs> um, yeah we stick with the normal roof and the and the and the roof spoiler basically so i'll just head back in my bad about that press the wrong button yeah, well, there's not too much left anyway. I think it's just the side skirts, the wheels, and um, and then that should be it. And I'll, I'll just do bring it for a little quick test drive. So, side skirts, you've got these two options here. Neither of them are particularly great, but I just I like this one here, so I'll stick that on. And then the spoiler, you've got like a ducktail spoiler, which is, I would like to see a more kind of Rocket Bunny-esque one, but that's like my personal preference, so I'm going to stick with that one. And um, then you've got this kind of... Not really sure what even what you'd even call it, but just these different these different options. You've got the GT wing there, and um, again, can when if you were to do this car wrong, it could come across as very ricey. So, um, I'd like to see the kind of the middle the wing mounts kind of spread further apart, but that's just me. Um, and then there's that final one. Then the suspension again, you can slam it with the uh, 
with the drift mod handling mod it does slam it but not as bad as it did with the rx7 so you can go all the way down on that one and it shouldn't be too bad not as bad as the rx7 at least um because it's based on the buffalo 2 it's not exactly the sprightliest car ever as far as kind of gear stuff gear changes and stuff like that because i don't believe the mod handles any of that kind of stuff so transmission's good for that turbo you don't need and then wheels we've got whatever you whatever your personal preference is there i built one of these here's one i made earlier <laughs> and i built one of these earlier on so kind of i know what i'm going with here so you can see all the different colors again all the options you can fully customize them and uh wheel accessories again stock tires i always go or custom tires i always go with custom tires so there you see there you go sorry you can see the uh the lexus so we take it out now and i'll just kind of go for a little little test drive um but yeah it's pretty it's pretty cool it's it's fun it's good looking it's amazing because i mentioned that in the um in the rx7 video that i did I, when i noticed that the the bumper and the hood and stuff like that were all separate parts the game recognized them as separate parts rather than just one all over body kind of thing um i mentioned i was like huh maybe maybe someday i didn't realize that that day would be like literally the next day <laughs> i'd be seeing about uh i'd be seeing like fully fully customizable mods i really didn't think that would be coming so soon um, if at all, I was just kind of hoping for the best and saying maybe. Um, now again, as I said, it, it, it's quite a boogie mod, so you can see there like what like what should be damage on the uh, on the the light there, and uh, any kind of scraping damage sticks out from the car. But again, it's very early days. It's a it's a, it's like an alpha version of the mod, so wouldn't really worry about that too much. He mentions in the description that if you break the glass on the windscreen the game will crash apparently so that's something to just keep an eye out for um so like use use kind of the invincible mode god mode car god mode if you can inside the trainer and um, but as you can see there yeah it's a lovely car it handles nicely it's the same handling it's the exact same file as the uh, as i used in the rx7 so again just the, the same handling on all the cars is kind of preferable you can you can learn it um some people might see it as boring, I guess, like how all the cars handle in the same, but you can learn it and just any car then that comes out that you want to apply that mod to. Um, I believe there's a Nissan GTR mod that I might make a video on, I'm not sure, it depends on if it's customizable. Um, if it's customizable, I might just have a look at the kind of the mods that you can do. But uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. I'm going to uh, I'm going to put together some kind of run somewhere around here to use for the intro, and yeah, that'll be it. So if you enjoyed it, please do leave a thumbs up, subscribe if you're new here, thanks for watching, and goodbye.